Good morning, Monisa Klein here at the GBTA broadcast studio in beautiful San Diego here at GBTA's convention 2022. And with me this morning is Don Moore, who came in from St. Louis. Good morning. Don is the Senior Vice President of Global Business Sales for Enterprise Holdings. Good morning, Don. Good morning, how are you? Good, great to see you again. We were together just a few months ago in Orlando, I think. Yes, we were. And it's wonderful to be in beautiful San Diego, right? It is great to be here. It's great to reconnect, as they say, with that's everyone. That's right, <laughs> that's right. And on that note, sure. how are you guys adapting and changing for the future? I mean, obviously we're coming, hopefully the pandemic is becoming more and more in the rear view mirror, but looking ahead, how are you all adapting for the future? Yeah, great. So um, for us, um, we're, we, we believe we're in the people business and the partnership business. Um, I know we rent cars. Um, we rent cars, we rent vans, we rent trucks, we, we do all of that. Um, but we're in the people business. And so first and foremost, uh, we got to make sure that we have the right people um, in the right place and we have great partnerships th throughout that, that plan. So um, during this time, um, you know, reconnecting, it's about hiring. Um, you heard yesterday in some of the conferences uh, that were going on yesterday about hiring the right people and so yeah. forth. I think from, it's the most important decision you can make, right? Absolutely. As Hiring and training. Yep. I, I guess for, from my side, from a sell side, it's very important um, that we hire early because we promote from within, within enterprise and, and national. Good. So everyone that is on my sales team throughout the world has worked in the rental operations before they became in the sales operations. We believe that's very important for the customer and for, for them and their career. They understand what the operations go through every day. Um, they don't overpromise because obviously they have been in that business before. Um, and then we ask our operational folks to, to handle all of our partners um, every day, which they do a phenomenal job in our 10,000 locations around the world. Right. And those are just a few key things that you, did, you, you all um, do to develop your cultural. I, I know culture is very important, I know, at Enterprise. Yeah, so, so culture for us is everything. Um, we are we're privately owned, 65 years old. Um, Jack Taylor was our founder. Mm -hmm. He was our first CEO. We've only had four CEOs. Chrissy Taylor is our current CEO. Sure. Generation four in the Taylor family. Um, but really from that standpoint, Jack made it very easy when we first started. He said, if you take care of your employees, if you take, take care, care of your you. customers, profits will follow. And that's been our, our success story throughout. As uh, sustainability and DEI are hot topics, they're hot here yes, at convention. Everybody's talking about it, big focal point. Um, what are the business initiatives that Enterprise is taking on, particularly in this space? Great. Um, so first, I'll start with sustainability. We worked very closely in 2007 with TerraPass to build a uh, carbon offset program. So that is live. It's been live since 2007. Worked very closely with them. Um, today, we also have Commute with Enterprise. Commute with Enterprise is van pulling. Mm. Um, we've been able to save billions of, of pounds in emissions in regards to keeping vehicles off the road um, and allowing customers to kind of get to work in a, in a much easier capacity uh, in the back Excellent. of a van, able to relax and so forth as they move forward. So sustainability for us is at the heart of everything we do. Um, we also go, there's a commitment that we have far beyond that in research side of things. So in 2007 also, um, that was our, our 50 year anniversary, a lot to be said there. So we, we combined with the, um, through a grant from Enterprise uh, Ownership, uh, we combined with Don, the, uh, we work with Donald Danforth um, Renewable Fuels Research, and we donated a large sum of money to them to help with bio uh, fuels and any type of renewable fuels for the future. Excellent. Um, so that's, that's the main things we do. Um, there's a few other pieces of, of that side that we do. Um, the renewable fuel side is, is hugely important for us in the future. And then also lastly, um, we have a 50 million um, pledge in regards to we are going to plant 1 million trees for the next 50 years. Oh, I love it. For our 50 year anniversary as well. Excellent. On the DE&I side, um, we work very closely with our, our team locally on DE&I. Um, we, in 2020, we developed the road forward. And the road forward for us is um, respect opportunity to, to work closely with, with other companies, achievement and diversity. Um, road, there's the, the road forward. So we, we've donated over $20 million to that organization um, to really develop um, 
the any type of uh, society that needs help in, in that side of our business. So we're very, very excited about that. Um, and then lastly, we work very closely with our, our teammates in the field and our teammates at corporate. We developed a diversity um, uh, uh, class for all of us to, to attend. And then we actually have a research company that we come in and we really work together with them. So we're, we're well ahead of the game you know, on that side of it, but you can you can never stop. It's it's constant. No, you can. And it no. sounds like you guys are really hitting it out of the ballpark on yeah. both sustainability as well as the DEI side. We're really excited about where we're going. That's great. Yeah, it's great. Thank you. You and I were ch chatting just a few minutes ago, and I know you were, you've been with Enterprise for 35 years. I have. Uh, it's clearly a wonderful place to work and to be employed because you guys take care of your people, and yes. that's very evident um, through you and through, through, the, through the people that I meet right. uh, with your organization. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. It's really thank wonderful. You. We take pride in that. So we've been in the industry for a long time. We have. Before technology became such a major right. you know, instrument of, of how we do business, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So looking forward... Um, obviously, as technology continues to play an integral role in the travel industry, how is enterprise, in, enterprise harnessing technology and what can customers expect in the future? Right. So um, National Car Rental is uh, our lead corporate brand, if you will, at airports. And we have um, Emerald Isle. So that basically, when you sign up for our, our loyalty program with, with Emerald Club, you're able to bypass the counter, pick your car, go to the gate, show your ID, and you're on your way. Very frictionless, um, quick, and that's what the customer wants. He wants speed. Um, we've also developed Travel Pass in our enterprise branches. That's both at airports and in local home city um, locations. Travel Pass is almost like Emerald Isle, if you will, but there's not an aisle. You actually sign up on your loyalty program, and you can pick your vehicle before you arrive to the branch and you're able to, same way, you show your ID and you're on your way. So um, what we've discovered over time and technology is quite frankly that speed for both the customer and for the employee is hugely important for us. Sure. Um, anything we can do to build technology for today's employee, um, younger than me, unfortunately. Um, so we have a lot of employees that are just coming out of university, have new technology that we're bringing in to make it more frictionless and make it more fast for the customer. Excellent. I love it. Yes. So integrating the people aspect, the sustainability, the DEI, and the harnessing technology. technology it right. sounds like a recipe for success. Yes. Congratulations. Thank it's you. It's great to see Appreciate you, John. It. Thanks Thank you so much, much for spending a few minutes with us here at the broadcast Thank studio. You. It's great to see you. Have a great day. Thank you. Thanks. I'm Monisa Klein here at the GBTA Broadcast Studio.